NASCAR Cup Series welcomes you to Richmond Raceway for the running of the Richmond 400. We got 20 of the greatest NASCAR Cup Series drivers getting ready to go side by side, beating and banging, and maybe a bump and run or two at this short track facility. The fans are really excited for today's race, and honestly, I am as well as we got Kevin Harvick. Starting on the pole for today's race. He's got a fast car all weekend long. And we got one of the big storylines for today's race. Matt Kenseth replacing Kyle Larson as he's starting in 12th place. And how about Ryan Newman? Coming back from his Daytona 500 crash. He had injury, but he's back on track starting 14. Man, this is going to be a very interesting race. For 20 laps, here are these 20 wonderful drivers. Now, let's get to command start engines. Drivers, start your engines a wonderful sight to hear if you are a motorsports fan while cars are rolling out and getting ready for the race Let's get to your starting lineup for today's race. On the first row, we got Kevin Harvick and Mark Jerks Jr., who swept Richmond last year. On row two, we got Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Let's say they know a thing or two about Richmond and short track racing. On the third row, we got Kurt Busch, the 2015 winner, and Eric Jones, starting in sixth. And then on the fourth row, we got Chase Elliott, who won here in the Xfinity race back in 2015 September, and Joy Logano, who won here two times. Our row five it is Ryan Blaney and Jimmy Johnson, who is making his final season in the Cup Series. And then on the sixth row, it is Brad Keselowski and Ryan Newman, who has returned from the Daytona 500 crash back in February. And on row seven, it is rookie Tyler Reddick and Clint Boyer. Oh man, my arm is starting to hurt. On row eight, it is Chris Buescher and Austin Dillon. And on row nine, we got the number 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Bubba Wallace starting on the outside. And on the final row, we got Ty Dillon and Corey LaJoy. So those are your field of 20 drivers getting ready to go racing. But before we go racing, let's look at our race specs. Pulsar Kevin Harvick, who racing for 20 laps, 400 miles. Is a 0.75 mile D-shaped asphalt track, 14 degrees of banking in the corners, 8 degrees of banking on the front stretch, and 2 degrees of banking on the back stretch. And then we mentioned Martin Truex Jr. Could he be a threat once again and win his third straight Richmond win? Let's find out as we're going to go racing. But first, we'll be right back for the start of the race. Yeah. Welcome back to Richmond Raceway. The pace car turns left. Kevin Harvick and Martin Truex Jr. will lead it onto the green. Time to let him lose it. We're on the way here at Richmond. Three wide for second. Here comes the number 18 of Kyle Busch as he leads off a turn three and four. Kevin Harvick's going to lead the first line. Here comes the number 18 making a move on Harvick and new leader, the 18 of Kyle Busch. And here comes the number 11 of Denny Hamlin, Kyle's teammate, making a move on Harvick for second. Chase Elliott tries to get around Harvick as Kyle Busch is going to lead the third lap. Kurt Busch passes Chase Elliott for third place as they're in the back stretch now. We got a three wide battle for love between Matt Kenseth, Bragazowski, and Jimmy Johnson. There's still three wide. Kyle's going to lead another lap. And speaking to Kyle Busch, let's go on board with the number 18 Eminem's. So far, very fast car early in the going, but he knows he's going to have some competition. And we're going to have some lap traffic. Corey LaJoy is about to go one lap down as Kyle's going to lead the fourth lap of the race. Here comes Denny Hamlin making a move. Kyle Busch with a crossover. Three wide. They split. They put Corey LaJoy lap down. Here comes Kurt Busch going for the lead, and Kurt Busch is going to lead that lap. What a race this has been early in the going. Kurt Busch pulls away from his brother. And here's his amazing battle for 10th place. And meanwhile, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is about to be the next car going one lap down as he pulls aside while Kurt Busch is going to lead this lap. Battle for third between Truex and Chase Elliott. 
Battle for the lead once again between the Bush brothers. Denny Hamlin's going to make it three wide for third place as they go around Ty Dillon to complete the seventh lap. We got trouble in turn four. Hard crash for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Brad Kozlowski gets a piece of it. Clint Boyer gets in at the last minute. A bunch of drivers are involved in this crash. Caution is out. Look at the wreckage and the aerial view at the start finish line. Seven drivers in this crash, but Jimmy Johnson got a piece of it as well. We are on board with Bragislowski in the number two. He's getting out of the wreckage. On board with Clint Boyer. He's also getting out of the wreckage. And then we are going to go on board with the number 88 of Alex Bowman. He was part of the wreck. He tried to avoid it, but unfortunately it just never happened. We're going to take a look at the replay of what happened. It looks like Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was in Tyler Reddick's way. Reddick tries to avoid him, but then he got into Stenhouse. And then Kevin Harvick, nowhere to go. And look at the hard hit for the 47. Holy goodness. Hard hit. Hard hit for Harvick as well. Bowman locked up to avoid the wreck, but unfortunately, he wheel hopped into the crash. And then clips Kozlowski and then gets into the right side door of Jimmy Johnson. Johnson's got some damage. Look at Clint Boyer. He was locking up to avoid the crash the whole time, but then Bowman got into Boyer once again. Oh, he hated for the ones who tried to avoid the crash like Kazaski and Boyer, but then you hate it for the ones who were part of the crash. And look at the drivers avoiding the crash on pit road. Good call for them. Johnson's already on pit road. And just what a wreck. Lap traffic always happens. What we just saw was just chaos. The lap traffic. Lap traffic chaos. Alex Bowman's going to go to pit road. As we're on board the number 88 Babylon machine, it looks like he's going to go to garage and call it a day. There's Ricky Stanhouse Jr. Tyler Reddick getting towed away on board the number 47. Tough break for number 47 with Ricky Stanhouse Jr. And the rookie Tyler Reddick. You got cars on pit road. You got Kozlowski, Boyer, Johnson. Where the hell did Bowman come from? I thought it was in the garage. Anyway, there's still some cleaning up to do here at Richmond as... Ron Boyd with Joey Logano. He's going to go behind the wall. Ron Boyd with the race leader, Kyle Busch. So far, having a fast car on a dominant day. Can he hold on to get the win here at Richmond? We'll be right back. Hi, Charlie. My name is Rodney. What's your name? Ah, you're my face. Welcome back to Richmond. Kyle Busch leads the field with six laps to go. We're underway once again here at Richmond. As they're in the back stretch now. Here comes Mark Jack Jr. making a three wide for second. And he takes the lead away from his teammate Kyle Busch. Five laps to go. Kurt Busch makes it three wide for second. Oh, right, and Kurt goes off the field. Big crash. Hard hit for the number 41. Denny Hamlin gets a piece of it. Ryan Blaney gets a piece of it. Caution is back out once again. And Kurt Busch took a hard hit. He he was the fastest Chevy on the track all day. But unfortunately, he's going to finish behind the wall. Denny Amlin also had a good car. Unfortunately, he's not going to win it for his home state. And Ryan Blaney, he was the top five and top ten car all day. He's going to finish behind the wall. Let's look at the replay and see what happened. It looks like Kurt Busch in number 41 is on the inside of two Joe Gibbs teammates of Kyle Busch, his younger brother, and Denny Hamlin. He's got a fast car. He was fast enough to go around them with five to go. But it looks like Kurt thought he was clear. His spotter thought he was clear. It looks like a misjudgment. Then Kurt goes up into Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Hamlin gets loose and goes down on Blaney. Kurt takes a hard hit. Blaney and Hamlin crash. Luckily, Kyle Busch avoided it. Eric Jones somehow avoided it. Look at Austin Dillon as well. He avoids it too. Good job for everybody who avoided the crash. Thankfully, the wreck wasn't bigger than the first wreck. Unfortunately, Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney, and Denny Hamlin are done for the day, but thankfully, they're okay. Man, oh man, the garage is going to be full. While the cleanup continues, we just got word that NASCAR is going to have a two-lap shootout here at Richmond after the cleanup is done. As one board with Kurt Busch, he's going to the flatbed. He's done for the day. Blaney gets taken away as well. Hamlin behind the wall as well. While the cleanup continues, we'll be back for the shootout. What's up, Charlie? How are you doing? And, oh well. Oh, I'll just go. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, not again! Not again! Oh, he's taking me away! Oh, no! 
Welcome back to Richmond. The pace car turns left. Mark Jackson and Kyle Busch are still in the front row. Green flag is back in the air. Wow, look at Eric Jones making the three wide for the lead as they're in the back stretch now. What a move for the number 20, who's not a factor all race long, but is a factor now. Off of three and four. White flag is out. One lap to go here at Richmond. Kyle Busch and Austin Dillon go side by side for third as they go to one and two for the final time. Back straight now for the final time. And off of three and four, Eric Jones is going to win the Richmond 400 with a Joe Gibbs racing one, two, three. Wow. Congratulations to Eric Jones on winning the 2020 Richmond 400 after that, making after making that three wide move coming into line and he timed it perfectly as he does his burnout in the infield grass he continues to do his burnout awesome burnout he's putting on a good show for the fans as he gets the checkered flag he's gonna do more burnouts good job for the kid and the joke is one two three while Eric Jones is celebrating we will be right back Hi uh, Charlie, you just laying down? You just laying down? Nee. Boop. Welcome back to the 2020 Richmond 400 here at Richmond Raceway from Richmond, Virginia. We just saw a good finish for Eric Jones who made a three wide move after passing the start finish line. He tied it perfect. So it was legal for him to make that move. And we would like, we would like to congratulate Eric Jones on winning the 2020 Richmond 400. Good race. Just some good old short track racing. And let's take a look at the re finishing results. Here's your race winner, Eric Jones, who's not a factor all race long and just won the race. Mark Josh Jr. had a good car, finished second. He had a dominant car, same with his teammate Kyle Busch. He had a dominant car, but he finished his third. Good race for him. And how about Jimmy Johnson? From being at the back after being part of the crash to finishing fourth with fresh tires. And here's Ryan Newman finishing top five. Good finish for him. Good to see him back on track once again. And how about Austin Dillon finishing sixth? And then Chase Elliott. He was the fastest Chevy on track, but finished his seventh. Matt Kenseth with a return for the first time since Homestead November 2018 finishes 8th. How about top 10? And Darrell Wallace Jr. After going a lap down to finishing 9th. Good job for him. And Chris Busher finishes the bottom of the top 10. Finishing 10th. Ty Dillon who went from a lap down to finishing 11th. And Corey LaJoy. Same thing. Finishes it from being a lap down to finishing 12th. Last car in the lap and last car finished the race. And Ryan Blaney, he was a top 5, top 10 contender all day. He finishes 13th after being part of the crash. Denny Hamlin, he had a good car to win the race. But unfortunately, finishes 14th after being part of the crash. Same with Kurt Busch. Uh, he had a chance to win, but then he crashed, finishing 15th. And Clint Boyer, finishing 16th. He, had a, he was struggling all, all day long. And Brakazowski finishes 17th, just an innocent bystander for number two. Alex Bowman, another innocent bystander who was part of the crash, he finishes 18th. And a pole sitter, Kevin Harvick, he finishes 19th. He dropped back since the start of the race. And Joy Logano, he finishes 20th. And 21st goes to rookie Tyler Reddick. Unfortunate that he finished behind the wall. And coming into last place is the number 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. So that'll do it for the Richmond 400. I want to say thank you guys for watching this race. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm imprus25 and imprus48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page. Ian Asker for the Dash Animation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications if you want to see more stop motion races. And most importantly, thank you guys for supporting Ian Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video and the next stop motion race. Goodbye, everybody.